Management of acute upper GI bleed. This is defined as acute meaning rapid onset, upper GI which refers to the esophagus down to the duodenum, and bleed which is defined as an escape of blood from a ruptured vessel. The condition typically presents with hematemesis which may be bright red or dark clots or coffee ground, melina which is black tarry stools, lethargy, sweating, palpitations, presyncope, syncope, collapse or shock. The most common causes for an acute upper GI bleed are peptic ulcers or varicell hemorrhages. Peptic ulcers can be caused by NSAIDs, antipaglet agents or H. pylori, and varicell hemorrhages arise due to increases in portal pressures, of which esophageal varices are the most common. Other causes include esophagitis, gastroduodenal erosions, mandibular weiss tear, arterial venous malformations. So to begin with, if a patient presents with an upper GI bleed, assess them via the Blatchford score shown on the right. A score greater than zero should be considered for endoscopy. A score of zero can be considered for early discharge. There are three management goals we want to achieve when addressing patients with this. First of all, stabilize, identify source of bleeding via endoscopy, and then apply definitive treatment of the cause of bleeding. So to begin with, keep the patient nail by mouth and protect airway, get help from ICU if needed, IV access with two large ball cannulae, and IV resuscitation with a crystalloid or blood. Avoid normal saline in patients with liver disease. If there is massive hemorrhage, give O negative blood. Generally transfuse to maintain HP above 100 grams per litre where possible, although a restrictive transfusion policies have been shown to have better outcomes. Aim INR less than 1.5 using Beriplex or fresh frozen plasma. Aim platelets above 80. For suspected varicell management, you would, you would want to start telepressing 2 mg QDS and IV antibiotics. Consider transanemic acid and send for urgent endoscopy. For non varicell bleeding, send for urgent endoscopy. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. Thanks again.